Okay, today we'll be opening up this Mobile One oil filter, number M1-110A, and this Supertech oil filter, number MP7317. And I got both of these oil filters at Walmart. The Mobile oil filter costs $11.34, and the Supertech oil filter costs $5.90. But you may be able to find them cheaper somewhere else. And these two filters are going to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. This is the network. You gotta glue the silicone. Be nice and tight. Get your hand here. Filtration. Okay, let's start with the mobile one. We'll start with the box. It's rated for 20,000 miles. It removes over 99% of contaminants. If we look right here closely, you'll see efficiency based on removing particles greater than 30 microns. All right, let's open her up and see what she looks like. Date code, F06P24E2. This is a sticker. This also says Made in USA. This filter has eight inlet holes, metal cord louvers, bypass valve down below. And I see four grooves there. Nitro rubber gasket. It's on here pretty good. It's a thin one. But it all looks good. Okay, let's look at the SuperTech. Now the SuperTech box. Also, it's rated up to 20,000 miles. And it gives you some filters it's compatible with. And look, fits our mobile one right in there. Made in USA. 99% efficiency. And if we look down here, and also say particles greater than 30 microns. All right, let's open her up and see what she looks like. Date code 030421AB, product of USA. This is a sticker. All right, this one's quite a bit different. This one has 13 inlet holes, nylon cage, bypass valve down below. And also, like four grooves there. Nitro rubber gasket. It's on there pretty good. There, finally got it. Looks a little thicker than the mobile. Base plates look totally different. Alright, let's open these filters up and see what's inside. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. The Super Tech weighs 178.1 gram. The mobile weighs 236.6 grams. Let's take a look at the gaskets real quick. Supertech on the right, mobile on the left. You can see that the Supertech is a little bit thicker. Okay, and the base plates. Supertech weighs 79.2 grams. The mobile weighs 120.9 grams. Quite a bit. Quite a bit more. you see why in a second. They both got the same amount of grooves. But if you look at the mobile. See the depth in there? It's a lot thicker. Thicker metal. Whereas the SuperTech is thinner. But the SuperTech's got a lot more holes. more, A lot more inlet holes. I think I'd rather the SuperTech actually with all those inlet holes. Okay. There and we got the silicone and drain back valves. Supertech mobile. And they cover up the holes nicely. You can see that right here. Yeah, it's all good. Okay, and the filter elements. Supertech. Supertech weighs 36.6 grams. And the mobile weighs 59.6 grams. Let's start with the mobile. Mobile's got a crimp metal seam right here. Nicely spaced pleats. Clean. Clean all around. Except a little little glue on here and metal end caps. Bypass valve right here. And I counted 55 pleats. And this is a synthetic blend media with a micron rating of 
99 plus percent at particles greater than 30 microns. Pretty deep pleats too. Nice and clean. Okay, and a Supertech. Supertech's got a glued seam right here. I counted 54 pleats, one less pleat. They're nicely spaced and clean also. Metal end caps. And the Supertech is a natural and synthetic blend fibers with a micron rating of 99% for particles greater than 30 microns. Okay. And Supertech's got this kind of bypass valve. Which weighs 7.6 grams. And you've seen this bypass valve on the mobile. And the mobile's got a stamp leaf spring, which weighs 4.7 grams. And the cans Supertech 44.3 grams. Mobile is 42.8 grams, a little bit less. Even though the cans are a little, you can see the mobile's a little bit taller. I put the layer like that, but it's a thinner can to get their measurements. Let's get 0.39. Yep, 0.39 right in there. And with a super tech, I was getting 0 0.45, 0 0.46. That's close enough. Yeah, it's a little bit thicker. You can feel it. Okay, the filter media. The mobile is 2.3 inches wide, and the SuperTech is 2.17. Uh, I'll just say 2.18 inches wide. Yeah, I think the mobile is going to have more filter media. What do you guys think? Let's cut these two filters open, stretch them out, and see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, so here they are stretched out, and the mobile is 44 and a half inches long, and the SuperTech is 38 inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness on these guys. SuperTech, 0 0.90 millimeters thick. The mobile is 0.92 millimeters thick. Let's look at these up close. Got the mobile there on the left and SuperTech on the right. And these guys look very similar. You know, the thickness. And they look this, they look kind of the same, feel the same. Let's take a look at them under a microscope. Now as you can tell, they look very similar. The biggest difference is with the mobile, you get about 20 square inches more filter media. And you got a crimp seam and you got a glued seam. Let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So the base plates, I think I would give to the SuperTech because of the holes. Bypass valves, uh, that's a matter of preference, I guess. You, know, you, got, you got the nylon cage and louvers. The four biggest differences I can see on these two oil filters is the base plates, the inner core, the amount of filter media, and the price. The mobile oil filter is almost twice as much. So what do you guys think about these two filters? And I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget, Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The mobile filter media weighs 14.5 grams. The SuperTech filter media weighs 11.7 grams.